Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about multi-purpose bags. I feel like it's been a recurring trend over the past few years for bag designers to really focus on making bags which can be worn a few different ways and I just love this trend. I think it's so great, especially for getting more bang for your buck, but also, you know, functionally speaking, these are so great to take on little holidays, mini breaks, because if you can get everything that you need from just one or two styles, it's obviously going to limit what you need to take. And so so many of these bags can go really seamlessly from day to evening, can be worn formally, casually, and I just think it's great. So I thought I would round up the most versatile bags in my collection. In case you're in the market for one and trying to figure out which one was best for you, I have a variety of price points here as well, and I'm gonna be going over the styles, also showing you the different ways you can wear them as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get started. Before we get stuck in, I did wanna mention the importance of accessories for your bags. And I know that sounds really silly because obviously a bag is an accessory, but I really believe in investing in items like like an extra chain or a strap that will help you get more use out of the items you already have. So one of my favorite purchases ever in that sense is this chain that I actually got with, I think it was my first Senrev Aria in the Merlot color. And this has just been the most useful thing. So I use it with that bag. I also use it with all my other Arias. And obviously I've only had to buy it once because I only wear one bag at a time. But I also use it with different styles as well. So I use it with my Saint Laurent wristlets. I turn those from a wristlet into to a crossbody using this chain as well. And it's just the most useful thing. So I would definitely recommend doing that. And you can get all kinds of chains and straps. You know, I've seen people do it with Louis Vuitton as well. You guys told me about strap extenders, which you can use to make a shorter strap longer. There are so many different options and just small little hacks like this can really make your bag collection go a lot further. And then speaking of Saint Laurent wristlets, I do have my two right here for my first style choice. And I love this bag so much. So I do have it in the black and in the white. This one is in the classic chevron in the grain leather. This one is also in the grain leather, but it is in the envelope style. And I just love these. I think they are so, so great. They are very lightweight. They aren't lined in leather, which does help to reduce the weight of them. So it is a very lightweight bag, but at the same time, it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy at all. It is a full leather on the exterior and you have that iconic YSL logo right there. On the inside, it is just a plain open space except for one pocket on the back. So not overly fussy in terms of the details, but it's really all you need. And because it is quite tall as well, you can actually fit in a decent amount of items. I can fit in everything that I would need for a night out from, you know, my keys, cash, cards, phone, lipstick, that sort of thing. It is pretty functional in that way. You can wear this three different ways as well. So you can obviously just unhook the wristlet strap as I have done here and you can use it as either a pouch or otherwise a clutch. You can obviously attach the wristlet as it's meant to be worn and then use it as a wristlet, which I do most of the time. And um, for me, the difference between a clutch and a wristlet is really minimal. So I would always rather have the wristlet strap option. But as a third alternative way, you can also use an external chain like my Senrev one that I mentioned earlier, loop it around and wear it as a crossbody. And I think that's a great little hack, especially as these are considerably cheaper than the wallet on chains. The wallet on chains retail for around about a thousand pounds. I think they're a bit less than that now, um, but these ones are almost half the price. So they are much more affordable whilst getting a very, very similar look. I was getting questions and I have mentioned this before, but how I loop it round is I basically just attach it right here to the ring and then I loop it round. It doesn't fall off me. I don't feel like I have to be overly careful with it. I don't rag it around or anything like that, but I do feel like the fold does do a very good job of keeping it in place. And because it is so lightweight, it is extremely comfortable to wear. So I love it for that reason. I do feel like even though they are still very luxurious items, these are fairly good value for money in the Saint Laurent world. And I just love the fact that you can wear it a few different ways and they are so versatile and functional. Next up is the Prada re-edition. And I do feel like this is one of those styles which kind of embody this whole trend. I know it's a really, really popular one for Prada. They do this in both the leather and the nylon version. I went for the nylon just because I liked how it was a bit more casual and I just liked the vibe a bit more, but I've seen some beautiful leather versions as well. I think that they're both really, really lovely choices. And you can wear this a myriad of different ways. And there are a lot of different elements to the bag as well. You do have 
the little pouch right here also. This one is originally supposed to be worn right here, I think, but I took it off and I like to wear it lower just because I feel like when there are a lot of things hanging off me, I feel a bit like a Christmas tree, so I don't like to wear it like that, but that's just personal preference. Um, you can obviously wear it just as it is with the pouch, the small chain as kind of decoration, and then also the longer strap. And then this one is adjustable to a few different lengths, and you can wear this just on the shoulder. You can also wear it cross body, and it is very, very comfortable to wear both ways. Uh, I would say something to keep in mind if you are planning on wearing this on the shoulder, because it is quite a, um, a silky fabric I guess it does tend to slip off a little bit on me so I don't really wear this on the shoulder which is a rare one for me usually I'm all about wearing my bags on the shoulder but for me this is much more suited to crossbody because it really does stay put it is very comfortable though because it is nylon and it genuinely feels like you're not wearing anything at all like it will just disappear on you even if you fill it full because it weighs pretty much nothing as it is, it just feels like you're hardly carrying anything and it's just a wonderful and running bag in that way. You can also obviously take off the larger strap. You can also take off all the other accessories just to have a cleaner look with the longer strap as well, but you can obviously take this one off. And then you can just wear it with the little chain. I do think it makes for a very nice evening bag. I know not everyone will like wearing a nylon bag for an evening style. If that's the case, then you may prefer the leather version of this. Personally, I think it makes a nice change. You know, I have a lot of small leather styles, so I like the fact that this is nylon. It also is kind of a throwback for me to the original Prada days, so I really like that look, but I get how it won't be everyone's cup of tea. But I love this. It's a nice little length as well, so you can pop it on the shoulder. You can also just use it handheld and I think it's really great. So I love this. As I mentioned, it is supremely comfortable, even though it is more of a casual style in the nylon. I do think you can wear it with a variety of different outfits and I just love it. So really, really great one. Obviously at different price points as well, if you get the leather or the nylon version, both have their pros um, and benefits, I think, but definitely a great one to consider if you like this kind of aesthetic and you did want to wear it a few different ways. Next up is my Senrev Aria, and I actually have three of these now. That's how much I love them. I have two of them right here. So I have my Chestnut Aria, and then I have my newest one, which is in this beautiful deep berry color. This one is in their Dolce leather, which is more of like a pebbled one. And then this one is in their more grain leather, which is much like a Sapiano leather both extremely durable and hard wearing. And this is always a go-to travel bag for me because it is so hardy and you just don't have to worry about it. You know, it just kind of wipes clean, really easy to maintain. You can also wear it a myriad of different ways. So if you did want to take one bag on holiday with you, you didn't want to have to spend your holiday stressing. I think this one is always such a great option. It does fit in a decent amount. I always feel like Senra is so clever with their organization. You know, you have the pocket at the front there. You have two little card holder slots on the side or at the front. And then at the back, you have a pretty large long zip pocket as well. So really roomy. You do have a decent amount of space inside as well. You always get that beautiful blue suede lining. And these can be worn, gosh, just so many different ways. So originally designed as a belt bag, hence the straps there. So they do all come with the leather strap, which I have right here. And you can use this as a proper belt bag. I can't say I've ever done so. I'm not much of a belt bag girl, but you can definitely wear it like that if you want to. I've seen so many photos of this being worn as a sling bag and I think it's always so cool. It's been on my list to try and I never get around to it. So I feel like this video is gonna force me to, but it can absolutely be worn like that. And then also obviously you can just take off those straps. You can wear it as a clutch, which I have done several times. And then you can also use the chain. This one is purchased separately, but as I mentioned, this is one of the best investments into my bag collection I've made because I do get so much use out of it. And you can alter the length as well. And then it just loops around. So on the inside here, it just loops around using these little loops here. So it really is kind of designed to be worn so many different ways. And then once you do have the chain on, you can obviously wear it, you know, on the shoulder, you can wear it cross body. It's just really, really functional. So. I love this, especially if you were someone who is into belt bags, like you will be able to get so many different uses out of this style. And even though I'm not, I can still wear it just so many different ways. So 
I love it, always such a great one, especially if you were after a bag that was a little bit more mini in size. I think this one is such a great option. As I mentioned, it's a go-to for me for travel because it is so hard wearing. I still get that really lovely leather look and you can just wear it so many different ways. So versatile, you know, it can go from casual to dressy really easily, great capacity. And I just love these and think they're just such good value for money, especially when you consider the leather quality as well. These are just so fantastic. If you were after a slightly taller option though, then the Aluna is also a really great one. And I have just been a total convert to this little bag ever since I got it. So this is the smaller design. Unlike the Aria, it's not designed to be a belt bag. It is designed to be a crossbody, I believe. So you do get a leather strap with it and you can wear it crossbody. You can wear it on the shoulder and you can also use the top handle as well. You can also loop it down though to be a backpack. I do think that maybe you might wanna do this more with the slightly larger size. You can do it with a mini one, um, but it is quite a small backpack if you wanted to wear it like that. I did also purchase the larger strap as well, and I love it. And I'm not gonna lie, I've not used the thinner strap since I got this thicker one, just because I love the way it looks. I think it looks so cool and on trend, and I just love how it gives it a totally different vibe. It is very, very comfortable because it is such a thick strap. It is a fabric one as well, and you have this really kind of subtle chevron design, but I just love the look of it. I think it just looks so edgy while still being quite polished and yeah, I'm just kind of obsessed with the whole look. So this is another one that you can wear just so many different ways, even more so if you did go ahead and get the thicker strap as well. But even without that, just with the thinner strap that you get with it, you can wear it top handle, on the shoulder, crossbody, and also as a backpack as well. Next up is my Gucci wallet on chain. And this one isn't multi-purpose in the same way that the other styles I'm showing are. You know, you don't get lots of different strap configurations. But at the same time, I wanted to feature it because I think if you're looking for a wallet on chain, this one is pretty much the most versatile one I have and why it's been just such a constant favorite ever since I got it. So I know it just looks like a very normal wallet on chain. And so you can obviously wear it as a clutch like I do have it here. So I have just untucked the straps but you can obviously wear it as a crossbody style and also wear it on the shoulder as well. These chains do completely come off as well, which I always really like. So you can convert it into a true clutch bag if you wanted to. And on the inside, it is just, you know, a classic wallet on chain design. So you do have all the card holders. You also have a zip pocket right at the front, as well as a further pocket on the front flap. But what makes this bag really, really special is the fact that you do have the mirror as well. And for me, that feature just totally elevates this bag. And I know it seems like such a small thing, but for me, every time you add in a feature like that, it just means I have to bring less items with me. And so it makes the bag more functional. You know, the fact that it has card slots and a zip pocket means that I don't have to bring a whole separate card holder or wallet. I can just use what's already there. The fact that it does have a mirror means I don't have to bring a compact with me. So really the only items I need to carry with me when I use this bag are, you know, my cash, my cards, usually a lipstick and my keys and a phone. And it just means I have more space to play with. Because you do have that crossbody option, I do think it works during the day. It's a very comfortable bag to wear, but at the same time, because you have that beautiful hardware, as well as the clutch option, it also makes for a very, very elegant evening style. And with the mirror, it's also just very functional in that way as well. So I know this isn't kind of completely in keeping with the rest of the styles I mentioned, but for me, this really is multi-purpose and extremely versatile. And I have been just so impressed with it. It's worn very well. It's another frequent one that I take with me on trips because I know I can use it for so many different occasions. It's very, very useful. And I just overall love both the design and the functionality. And I just think it's such a genius little bag. Next up, I do have my Nevful, and I did want to feature at least kind of one larger bag in this video. And I do think this does a great job of being as multi-purpose as a larger bag can be. So obviously you can just wear it just as a large tote, as you see here. You can also tuck in the sides as well. I don't do it too often, but I have done it in the past. And if for whatever reason you did want to make it into a smaller bag, this is just a really nice way of doing that. Especially if you were, you know, on vacation, you wanted to carry a tote, but suddenly you found yourself going to a nice restaurant for lunch or whatever, and you did just wanna make your bag just a little bit smaller to make it look a bit more neater and compact, this is a really nice option, and I do think it really changes the overall look of the bag. 
So I always think that's so handy to have that as a backup. But what I also really, really love is the pouch, which I just think is such a useful addition and something that I think all tote bags should have. And usually when I am going on a holiday, I will usually bring one tote bag and it is usually my Neville because I like how multi-purpose it is. I will almost always use the pouch separately, especially, you know, if you are holidaying in a hot destination or just grabbing something from, you know, a coffee shop, wherever it is, the pouch is so handy. You know, I've definitely used this as a little pool bag before, just something to carry all my essentials. I don't want to carry anything too big. You can loop around the chain so you can make it into a little wristlet as well. And you can fit in a decent amount. So I love the fact that this comes with it. You do get pouches with a few different tote bags now, but for me, the Neverfull is just so classic and so hard wearing, which is why it's always a favorite for me, but definitely the combination of the two. I do think this is a fairly multi-purpose and really a nice option if you were looking for a larger style that you could wear a few different ways. And then finally, the last bag that I wanted to discuss is my Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette. You know, the clue is in the name, Multi, you can really wear this just so many different ways. And I do truly feel like you get so much for your money in terms of just the different options you have with it. You know, it isn't a cheap bag, um, it is full leather as well. And I feel like Louis Vuitton leather bags are always just priced very, very high. So. It's definitely not cheap, but you do get just so many different styling options with it. So it really does make it a very fun bag to play with as well. I did mention in a video I did on it recently and um, the different ways you can wear it. And that's everything from kind of as it is with the two pochettes. You have the beautiful chain right here as well. And then you also have the strap. I didn't realize that so many people correct me. And honestly, when I first read the comments, I was like, what? And then I realized what you guys are talking about. So I didn't realize that this chain shortened to this length. I don't know how I didn't realize because this is literally the stock image on the Louis Vuitton website, but this completely bypassed me. Um, so you do have this shorter option. I don't think I'm going to wear it like this, but I do like that I have the option of doing so. You can also extend the strap as well to make it a lot longer as well. So that is what it looks like with the long strap. So this is the way that I've been wearing it the most. Um, I did mention that I don't love the fact that this is here because I do feel, I just kind of feel it when I wear it. It's not a massive deal, um, but not a huge fan. It does make more sense now that you can fully shorten it. So that is a plus point. But if you did want to wear it crossbody, that definitely is something to keep in mind. But I love the fact that you can wear this, you know, with the single pochette, with the leather strap, you can wear it with a double, you can take the chain off, you can leave it on. And then also if you did just want a much more dressy style, you would obviously detach the leather strap. So this is what it looks like with that. And then again, you do have the option of just having it with the double pochette, or you can use it as a single style as well. And again, there are just so many different options. You know, I've worn this casually for M running. I've worn it for date nights. And even within those kind of casual, more formal parameters, there are just so many different options. So I really love this bag. I, again, love how fun it is. It really does feel like you're playing dress up with just one accessory because of all the different options. And I said it when I did my little first impressions, but Again, if you're looking for a bag which you can take on holiday with you that you did want to wear a few different ways, this would just be a fantastic option because it can really take you right through from, you know, daytime sightseeing, whatever it is that you're doing, right through to the dressiest of evening occasions because you do have this beautiful chain as well. So the options are endless. Definitely a huge fan of this and I just think it's a wonderful, incredibly versatile style. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. But if you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please do give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.